Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at the TWAB in this week's Bungie, obviously. And obviously we're gonna talk about the changes that are coming to Eververse and whatnot. It's honestly probably one of the best changes in the game right now that's gonna come. And let's get started. So this week at Bungie, Guardian Games nears the finish line, but before we dive into our weekly update, here's a word from Luke Smith about a topic on many players' mind these days, Eververse. Rewards in Destiny 2. Hey everyone, this week's update is going to look at some of the changes coming to Destiny 2's rewards. As you know, rewards for your character comes from a variety of places, playlists where you find random folks to play with, aspirational activities like raids, trials, dungeons, where you form a form up a fire team and even eververse where you can sling some silver or bright dust back at us for items you want however in today's destiny 2 the balance of the game's rewards is not where we want it to be to be blunt there isn't enough pursuit out in the world we're gonna fix it let's get to it all of this and more is planned for destiny 2 year 4 vanity and accessory ship ghosts and sparrow changes we'll be adding transmogrification feature to destiny 2 this will allow players to turn their armor into universal ornaments we plan to allow players to do this with an in-game effort or a silver this feature is in early development and is expected sometime during year four so i have destiny 2 on just so i can give some examples but i don't know how they're gonna do this now i can see a few ways in world of warcraft there's actually a vendor that looks at all of your stuff like let's say this is the the ui for it and then like for for the helmet i could look at all of the art all the helmets from like everything it could be kind of like a collections type thing where you see all of everything and all of the things you've unlocked it'd be cool if you could see stuff that we haven't unlocked yet just so we can like pursue that more and then you could just pick it like oh maybe i want this one click it and then it would just transfer to to the helmet if it, if it's like that then i don't mind it being like bright dust i do mind if it's super expensive because he did say within like <sighs> i would have an issue with it if it's bright dust or silver only only because i wouldn't have any more bright dust one of the reasons i would be against it being bright dust or silver is because i would kill all 1900 on my bright dust just to make my character look the way i want him or her to look like because for me i think i think the best way to do it would be to do it with legendary shards only because that will hurt and i know people that have like hundreds of thousands of of legendary shards and that this is going to be a great way to like destroy their legendary shards glimmer i don't think would be a great way to do it i mean it <sighs> glimmer isn't hard to get but it isn't the easiest to get as it used to be but legendary shards i feel like hit people harder because i have a thousand i like to keep it at a, at a thousand so essentially i am at zero i'll i'll go under a a few times but i'll never go under like 500 and a thousand is like the one i i, I have to have a thousand at least because whatever might you might never know i might need it for something so i like these changes but just i hope to god they don't do bright dust or silver only i hope they do like each one is like a hundred legendary shards or 250 shards i don't care just don't make it into these two because if you do I, I'm gonna hate it, but like whatever, I'm probably still gonna need to use it. So let's go back to the TWAB. Each season we will deliver an aspirational pursuit for armor. We haven't done this consistently in Destiny 2. I don't think you guys have done it ever in Destiny 2. This armor will come from activities, not the season pass nor Eververse. As an example, we removed the Eververse armor from season 11 and itemized it into an aspirational activity, which this is the right thing to do for the game. I do agree, this is the right thing to do for the game considering a lot of the Eververse armor has been really fucking dope. Now, I'm, co I com I'm coming to the destinations to show you what I think they're going to do. So we're probably going to see Crucible have 
uh, like the helmet, Vanguard have the chest piece, Gambit have leg pieces, and then maybe like the new raid at the time, or the raid is gonna have like the cl the cloak or the class item, and then stuff like that, or maybe it'll actually be like the ritual weapons or the pinnacle weapons of old where it shows you all of the like the helmet all of the pieces of the armor and it tells you like oh you need to do this many strikes you need to do this this many matches in crucible you need to do this many gambit things you need to do the raid this many times or so on and so forth it'll probably be something like that if it is it's gonna be really cool because it's it's something to keep you busy while you're doing content and it's a great way to put people into like the strike playlist into the gambit playlist into the pvp playlist because without objectives without goals people really don't do much in destiny at least i don't because there's no point so this is a really good change i really hope they do it really well like i said i don't mind going into activities that have a goal in mind so gambit i don't have a I don't have much of an issue of doing Gambit if there's a goal in mind, so I'm all for this. We are improving the rewards for aspirational activities, raids, trials, and dungeons. Going forward, aspirational activities will reward players with power, items, and vanity. When we build an aspirational activity, it will at least have one accessory to pursue. The team is working on adept weapons for Trials of Osiris. Trials will get new armor, aka not reprisal, accessories, and weapons in Season 13. Trials will get new armor every year. Destiny's next raid will have brand new armor, weapons, and exotic accessories to pursue. No spoilers. This makes me really happy for a lot of reasons. The fact that all the aspirational activities are going to get power, items, and vanity is really awesome considering that the dungeon the pit of heresy i've said this multiple times but pit of heresy there's really no reason to do unless you're pursuing really honestly just level like that's the only reason why you do uh pit of heresy the only reason you get power at the end so that's the only reason why i ever ran up pit of heresy because the items are in the same loop pool as the armor you get from from Eris and the weapons as well so there wasn't anything unique aside from the legendary ship and ghost which are just basic bitch versions of other ships and ghosts so literally for me pit of heresy is probably one of the dopest like pieces of activities in the game but unfortunately reward wise it's it's the weakest if not the weakest one with the other dungeon as well because it's the same thing same problem so i like this because the next dungeon we might have actual armor rewards that are tied to that dungeon itself and i hope that's the case the team is working on adept weapons this is great we're gonna have adept weapons we should have had adept weapons i don't want to give them credit for this but we should have and it's great that high-end pvpers have an actual goal in mind now because adept weapons were literally the big big thing like it was the reward they would show off trials will get new armor this i kind of figured we would get new armor so i'm not that surprised about it to be honest but i am surprised that we're getting more accessories and weapons in season 13. trials will get new armor every every year is pretty dope as well uh i would have preferred probably a new armor every six months but that's probably me just being too much like expecting too much and honestly i'm just happy we're getting stuff i'm just happy this is happening and destiny's next raid will have brand new armor weapons and exotic accessories i am i imagine they say brand new armor considering the backlash they got for the last raid considering it was armor from eververse so that makes me really happy beginning in season 12 we will no longer be selling ships ghosts shells sparrows or armor ornaments in Everest that are visually based on themes from aspirational activities. We're not planning on changing existing items as that is time we could be spending on itemizing in the future. So this is great. 
in, I'll give you a great example. In Shadowkeep, we had so much ghost sparrow ships, uh, exotic ornaments, weapons. We had so many items in Eververse that should have been in the game. We had the thorn ornament. We had the ghost ship and sparrow that should have been in the game. Those items should have been connected to the pit of heresy dungeon i would have loved to see the thorn ornament be like a little a super rare drop i would have loved to see that there was just so much items i was just like that this should be in the game like i should be able to get these in the pit of heresy like there's no reason to run the pit of heresy unless you're just you just want power because the armor and the weapons are literally just the same so why would i be doing this unless i'm like pursuing power and at the time power was just useless so yeah ah uh, mm. i'm i like this change a lot i really like it the fact that i won't have to see ships ghosts and all this shit in eververse like i'm finally just gonna see it in the game like how it used to be so these changes could just be so good oh my god i'm, I'm really excited core playlist reward changes strikes strikes gambit and crucible we are adding a new set of armor for the core playlist strike blah, blah, blah. this armor shares a set of new geometry with decals and shaders specific to the activity we will create new sets like this each year example year four year five year six etc this set will arrive alongside with the next expansion starting in season 12 we are adding new pursue weapon each season this weapon can be earned by playing your preferred core playlist this weapon will have specific activity specific legendary skins that can be unlocked each playlist we are no longer selling new legendary weapon ornaments in eververse so i i love i love all of this this is all great we're finally getting new armor from each of the core playlists which is finally we should have been getting new armor this is great because now what i see them doing is they'll like maybe next in september they'll release the next dlc we'll get the new armor from vanguard and gambit and crucible and the next seasons after that are probably just going to be either reskins or like just armor from old seasons coming back i would love to see that if i'm being completely honest i would love to see them do like reskins like how they did with the armor from from curse of osiris where they brought it back into vanguard and crucible and everything else no it was just crucible it was just vanguard i would love to see them do that with like vanguard and then try like bring piece old pieces of armor and make them into like vanguard or probably just vanguard to be quite honest but i would like to see them bring back old armor like that and then just be still be able to attain some of the old armor through like bounties or something because not well when i say bounties i mean bounty specific to the activity itself so like to get this armor you have to do a certain amount of strikes nightfalls kill this many people with a headshot you know stuff like that i would love to be able to get old armor sets from older seasons considering that we're already going into your year four and I still can't get armor from like season one, two or three. I would love to get that, like have the opportunity to get that. So the pursuit weapon, I, I'm excited for it. I am actually really excited for it because now we all share a weapon that we can put different skins on it. I think this is a great idea. I think Bungie really hit the nail on this one. If they do it well and they do it right, this could be some of the dopest shit ever because if we get, like, let's say we get a weapon, like maybe next season's gonna be an assault rifle. Why not? We get an assault rifle and the perks on it, just make it slap anywhere. It's probably gonna be a reload with a weapon perk mostly because that really works well everywhere but if we get something like that it could be good in pvp it could be good in pve it could be good in gambit and at that point it's literally just going to be people rocking it with their favorite skin on it i'm obviously going to try to get every skin because i'm going to try to get everything but 
I, most likely, I'm just going to wear the one that looks the coolest. If not, I'm probably going to rep uh, Crucible because I like Crucible. So I like this a lot only because it gives more... It gives it gives me more of a reason to play other activities because legendary skins or skins in general is something I am going to try to do 100% of the time. It's I'm really excited for this one. This one specifically is one of the things I'm really excited for. The we will no longer be selling uh, legendary weapon ornaments is actually pretty cool as well. Hopefully they can they can give it to us in game. A great example is some of the legendary weapons uh, skins from season of opulence were probably some of the coolest uh skins in the game i know that a lot of people are trying to get the beloved skin as well as i am considering i'm level like 175 on the battle pass and i still don't have it so if they can give it to us in game as like some pursuit type thing i would love that Dustin engrams we are making it easier for you for you to earn bright dust we will be moving away from character specific ways to earn bright dust and more towards account specific paths this change is geared toward giving one character player significantly more bright dust than they can earn today we're updating the bright dust bright engram to be more relevant than it is today the earned bright engram in the season pass will be updated to include various year three eververse items in Previously sold for silver and bright dust and going forward that bright engram will update each season to include eververse items from three plus season prior On behalf of all of us at Bungie we hope you and yours are safe and well We know you could be doing anything with your free time and so so many are of you are spending Time in our world. Thank you and stay safe. See you soon Luke Smith <clears throat> so this is the only thing that kind of has me worried because I run Bright Dust on all my characters, on my Hunter, Titan, and Warlock, obviously. And I get around 3,000, well, I get, what, 12, so, so 3,600 Bright Dust a week, not including this week where I'm getting the extra weekly and five dailies or we uh five road uh, repeatables so i get around three thousand something whatever three thousand six hundred if i can still get three thousand from one character i'll be okay with it if i can't and that's it that's that's probably going to be an issue because if you guys remember last season we had or not last season last year we had bright engrams that was the way to get bright dust you would earn a bright engram after every level not after five levels after every level you would earn a bright engram you would use it and then if you didn't like it you just destroyed it and then it would give you bright dust occasionally you would get uh exotic level items from those you get 500 so in 500 mind you that's a hundred less of two weeklies right now. So this is the only thing that kind of has me worried. If they don't give us the same amount, then it'll drastically decrease the amount I can get. If they have something like repeatables that are a little bit more generous than they are now, considering repeatables are only 10 and they're really annoying to do, then I'll be okay with it. But I don't know, man. I'm I'm I like the fact that I can get 3600 a week. I don't like the idea that they're going to cut that in half only because people have one char one character. Like make another character. I'm sorry. Whatever. So other than that, that's pretty much it. I don't really care about this. I don't care about the event because uh fuck the event. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I I'm loving all these changes except the bright dust. That one has me a little worried, but other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys feeling it? I I like it a lot. I think a lot of these changes are going to be dope. Damn, this is going to be it's going to be long. But thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlet, out links uh, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. Be safe guys. You guys know happy you guys know how what's happening in the world and other than that, I will see you guys later.